Justin Trudeau and the NDP told you all that it would work, that all the so-called experts agreed that freeing criminals onto the street 50, 60, 70 times within hours of their latest arrest would somehow make us all safer. Most Canadians thought it was wacko, and they were right. Today, the data is out from Stats Canada. Data released moments ago show that violent crime has been uh, is up 50% after nine years of Trudeau and the NDP Liberals. Homicides up 28%. Sexual assaults 75% higher. Violent firearm offenses up 116%, more than double. Extortion up 357% as small business owners get letters telling them that if they don't pay a million dollars, there'll be a bullet flying through their six-year-old uh, daughter or son's bedroom window in the middle of the night. That's what's happening on our streets. Auto theft, up 46%. This is the direct result of NDP liberal catch-and-release policies that turn the same repeat offenders loose on our streets again and again and again. Just last week, we saw a story of 18 offenders charged, charged with 150 crimes. Nine of them were already out on some sort of early release, and since their, res their arrest, six of them have been released again. And what do you know? They're out doing more and more crime. A very tiny group of criminals doing all the crime. Even the justice minister has had his car stolen three times. Incredible. You'd think the criminals would be somewhat grateful that he keeps releasing them. But no, they steal his car too, and he, he is too dense to figure out that, that they should be locked up. This is the same guy who said that crime wasn't rising, it was just a perception. He said that Canadians were just believing crazy conspiracy theories about crime and that the smart people who stare at screens and look at spreadsheets knew better. Well, now the spreadsheets are out and they confirm that catch and release, wacko, NDP liberal policies have caused one of the worst crime waves in Canadian history.